Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to make a quick, really, really, really quick video. Hopefully, about um what I'm what I am going to bring on my trip next week. I'm going on a family trip for a week, and obviously, since I only have time during the weekends, um, I have to start packing. And the first thing that crossed my mind is that what camera <laughs> or cameras do I need to bring? On a holiday so um, so I guess let's start um, the first thing that you are seeing right here is uh, my no-name camera bag from Korea um, if you please check out my other video about what's in my camera bag when I went to a summer fair a couple of weeks back so I'm not gonna show it anymore um, the digital camera that I'll be bringing is not on the screen because that's the camera that I'm currently using to record this video. It's a D7000 and the attached lens is 18 to 55 kit lens. And the reason that I'm bringing that, I know it sounds generic to some people, but um, 18 is like the widest lens that I have. And in as much as I want to bring the D4D to record, oh, to take pictures because it's a lot lighter to bring. I think since I'm going to embark on a family trip, my family will will most likely appreciate if I have some videos taken as well. So that's the reason why. And aside from the kit lens, I will also bring my 18... Sorry, my 35 millimeter lens 1.8 from Nikon as well. Um, just because um, if I don't want to bring a kit lens, then um, at least I have I have a prime lens with me to carry. So it's not still not too heavy, even though my D7000 is big. Um, I'm not sure if I will be bringing an extra, extra battery, but just in case, um, my charger may or may not be finding its way in my camera bag. So, I might charge batteries prior to leaving, bring two batteries with me, and bring a battery grip, maybe, or just bring a charger. I'm not sure yet, but just in case. Um... I am pretty sure I'll be bringing a rangefinder with me and this is a film rangefinder in case some of you were wondering or don't know. This is the Canon Canonet QL17 G3. I got this um, last month on my birthday. My boyfriend gave it to me and by the way my boyfriend is the one who did the review for the Chinon Bellamy camera which was made in a different video so you can check that out as well. So this is it. Um, there's a yellow filter on it, so that means I'll be shooting black and white. There's film right now. I opened it earlier and I didn't know. That's kind of dumb. But <laughs> anyway, so this is what I'll be bringing. Um, not shown here is my hard case film. Film hard case. Um, it's in the fridge downstairs. So this is where the problem is. So... Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a lot of point and shoot stuff because I do lumography as well. Um, but I am not sure which one to bring. Uh, what what you are seeing here are two AF point and shoot. The first one is my Konica Big Mini 301. It has 35 millimeter, 3.5. Um, uses CR123 battery and this is what it looks like um, I brought this one last year in a long weekend that my family and I went to Minneapolis so this is what I brought to do a lot of Lomo stuff and the reason I did is I find it very sleek and compact which what compact cam camera should be like so there it is and the other one is um, a Yashica T4. This has a cult following. This is a Kyocera Yashica T4. Super weatherproof. Also 35mm T4. 3.5. Oh, I can't talk. 
but this um, also uses CR123 battery but can you see that it has Tessar Carl Zeiss lens which means this is awfully sharp so which is really good if I'm going to have a very reliable compact camera and this is what it looks like inside so the problem is which one I should bring because this one I know I shouldn't be too conscious about it but despite of the really nice lens it looks like your old compact <laughs> AF I mean it's old but you know what I'm saying as opposed to this one that it's also old looking but it looks more sleek so it's more of like the aesthetics that I'm kind of worried about but um, I'm not really sure maybe I might end up doing this um, also before I forget this one has a super scope waist finder level which is really good for street photography which I plan to do when I go to Illinois because that's where I'm going um, so that's good if he, I combine it with this and this, so that will be really awesome. But again, I'm not sure. So if you're watching this video and if you have any ideas, just let me know. So that's what I'm, I'll be bringing. Um, as mentioned, I don't, what's not in this video is a flash. I'm thinking of just bringing my SB400. Was it the SB400? Like the small, small Nikon one. And a couple of batteries and oh yeah before I forget um, I don't know if I've shown you this one I'm also planning to bring my light meter I broke mine when I was working on my exhibit last February um, it's not really broken but this glass part right here fell off and I'm not really sure where it went so um, after months of like not using a light meter um, and just trusting my eye and if my camera has a light meter I use it um, I finally found a listing for a new light meter so I got that one um, it's different from the one that I previously used, so I had to read that over um, read over the manual so there I go. So that's what I'm going to bring. Um, as I mentioned again, what is not in this video would be um, a couple of batteries, an external flash, maybe. If I think if I'm bringing a 35 millimeter 1.8, it's not gonna be a problem. But I'm not too sure what or where my cousins will be bringing us there. Or where are we supposed to go so I'm not too sure um, batteries like rechargeable ones and I guess my sunscreen <laughs> and an notebook and a pen so and a box like and as mentioned earlier my film container so yeah that's basically what I'm going to bring um, again if you have any comments or suggestions or on what am I supposed to bring between these two just let me know hopefully I'll be able to decide by Wednesday so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I'll most I'll probably upload some videos while I'm on vacation to see how things are working on in there so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye